In this video, I crack a bunch of low grade CGC and PSA cards to see if those low grades were actually justified. Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna do some surgery. We got a really nice looking Rayquaza here in a six. We've got a Harkold in a six. This one was an eight. I might be foolish to crack an eight, but we'll see. This one is a broken slab. I got sent to me by PSA. This one got a six, which is super weird. So we're gonna crack that one too. And then this guy got a seven. We're just gonna crack it for science just to see what could be wrong. And I've had this for a long time, so we're going to crack this one too and see. I just want to do some investigation. I want to see why they got the grade that they got, because obviously I sent them thinking that they weren't going to do that poorly. So we're going to see exactly uh, what's going on. The way that I like to crack slabs, because, you know, there are tools that are a little bit better than what I'm going to be using tonight. We're going to try using this thing tonight. I've used this in the past for slabs. Also, I have a flathead screwdriver. Some people prefer a butter knife. I'm going with the flathead screwdriver tonight. I got the plastic bag here because we're going to put the slab in the plastic bag to crack because we don't want all of the plastic remnants flying all over the place and getting all over the floor. Here we go. A 7.5 CDC slab. Let's see. I'm gonna take the other corner as well. This is the second time ever that I've cracked slab, so I'm not a uh, cereal crack. Uh, cereal crack slabber? What? It's cereal slab cracker. Once you get both corners off, it's usually pretty easy to get the flathead under. Thankfully, none of the cards tonight are very expensive. The last thing we want is for it to crack like horizontally across the slab for some reason. Oh, there we go. That's easy. This was a 7.5 Arcanine from Hail Blizzard. Let's take a look and see why this would have gotten the 7.5. So, a 7.5 you would think would have a bend or a crease or something. I'm not seeing anything. I don't know if you guys are seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything really uh, egregious in terms of bends or dents in the card. Really cool Arcanine, though. Just unfortunately hold the seven wait wait it's on the front you can see it look at it it's got a dent it, it's got like hardcore why can you not see that on the back okay all right i see it i see it more visible on the front than it is the back but yeah once i turned it over there it is next card up let's see if this is a similar situation we have v max climax full art flareon psa 7 let's see exactly what happened with this card Okay, we got the corners off. Get it. We're out. A card that got a PSA 7. This was a PSA 7 VMAX Climax Flareon. Let's take a look. Oh! Found it. Well, that was easy. Nice little uh, crease or big dent there on the bottom right. Honestly, kind of surprised that it still got a 7 at PSA. Let's crack the big Charizard here. We've got a 25th anniversary Charizard. This one got the PSA 6. One corner off. Second corner off. Okay. Hold. Anybody have a heat gun? Someone want to ship me a heat gun, please? You can do some real experiments here. There we go. Ugh. Our 25th anniversary Zard. I got a PSA 6. Let's investigate. Now, my first thought was up in this area. So if we take a look, is that almost like water damage sort of? Or like some sort of, uh, some sort of like rippling effect happening up there in the top? It's pretty subtle. But you can definitely see there's some sort of indent or bend here. And then it kind of like ripples across the card. Yeah, this card is pretty messed up up top there. Oh my god, look. Every now and again, I can switch the, the light around just a little bit to make it look even worse up there. Holy buckets. All right, we've got another PSA 6. Got a PSA 6 Rayquaza. So this one was surprising to me because this we got this back in a recent sub. At first glance, I can't really see anything egregious. Let me get this sucker out. It's kind of crazy that a lot of cards nowadays i feel like it is easier to sell these cars raw than selling them in psa 6 it's kind of wild and you probably get more money for it oh all right be nice to me ray ray man uh oh all right it's out let me show you guys 
what I saw. Right there. Right there. There's a little dent or crease coming across the end. Kind of crazy that that other card got, what, a seven or an eight? And this one got the six. And I feel like this one is much more harsh than the other one that we cracked. And this one got the six. Just shows how, you know, subjective a lot of this grading stuff is one grader gives this a six the other one gives the other card a seven or eight or whatever it was beautiful card i mean it's got the swirl and everything i feel like this card is going to be pretty easy to sell raw this is the newest newest slab that i have this is an eight seven nine so this is almost an 88 this was another one that got a six and I'm not sure why. I have in the past, I have gotten sixes that I resent and got nines. So that's why I wanted to crack these because, you know, as much as I would love to say that, you know, these grading companies are great at their job and they never get anything wrong. Uh, I've definitely had cards that have gotten really low grades in on a resend because they look completely clean. They get way higher grades. And we're out. There we go. Oh, I... Frick, man. You see it? So bad. That's almost all the way across the car. Just a big old bend. Yeah, that's pretty egregious, man. That's like all the way across the card damn so this one got the nine which is probably right i might be able to crack it and try for a 10 because i don't think there was anything egregiously wrong but when psa sent it back it uh chipped the slab in the case because they shipped it like a bunch of morons i might send this one in again depending on how if it's super duper clean and it was just like a happen to be a particular grader saying a certain thing and it's a 10 on a different day maybe we send this one back in it is a very pretty card i like these rcs cards that have the full card reverse hollow oh there's a hair in the slab that's nice yeah this card's very clean so i will probably send this back in and see if we can't snag the 10 we got one more slab left it is this eight i think this one was a conundrum to me because there is absolutely no whitening on this thing at all it is spotless so i wanted to crack it to see if there was something like a small dent or a small lip or something that was making this card an eight because an eight just seemed harsh oh man i took a lot off with that put this sucker over uh oh uh oh no, it's always the last slab, guys. It's always the last one that's going to give us trouble. Come on. Oh, did I do that? <laughs> oh, no. I don't think I did. I had to have. I definitely did that. Ah, uh, frick we have a wounded card i have destroyed my chance at getting any better grade because there's no way that a card with that massive of a ding on the corner got an eight there's no shot this is probably what got it to eight before it's probably this little guy down here but that definitely had to be me there's no shot that was there i went ahead and damaged my own damn card sometimes there's casualties when it comes to cracking slabs. There we go, there's all the plastic. Sorry, Earth. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. You might also wanna check out this video about my experience selling at a local TCG convention.